Keith, I saw a social media post I liked today. It said the temperature dropped from 50 to 35 as if it spotted a cop. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought I was maybe overestimating the temperature when I walked out this morning, but it was officially 58 at 9 a.m. this morning yeah. in Southern Maine. So it was nice. We're, we're thinking, hey, this is going to be a great day. No, nope. well, it was a great day. It was just not a warm it one. It just <laughs> over time it went down. By the way, quick, we have to mention um, Troy's alter ego. If you don't oh, know yes. Troy Murphy's alter ego, Donnie Pelletier, uh, check it out. Hilarious. Yes. Great. He's a, it's a different thing. But look it up on YouTube if you get a chance. It's, it's a, only someone that good at skiing could ski that bad and not get hurt. That's how, that's how I would put it. 58 Portland was the official high, 54 in Bangor. Mountains had a tough time of it. You know, I mean, it just, there was a lot of rain and they had the mild temperatures as well. Quite a few mountains were actually shut down today to regroup for the weekend, which hopefully they're able to do as temperatures continue to drop into the teens and then 20s along the coastline. So at least they can make snow. Um, we talked about refreezing earlier and certainly some surfaces will refreeze. Obviously it's getting colder, but I think the fact that it was so windy, it tended to dry up some of the puddles and that, that will help us overnight tonight. Now tomorrow we get that little system coming through. It's not a big deal, but there will be some periods of light snow that move in from west to east starting around uh, late morning here, mid morning to late morning over western Maine. And then in the middle of the day, stretching into the mid coast, and that's where we could see some local enhancement of these bands that could get a little bit more like moderate briefly up into Bangor as well and Millinocket into Bar Harbor and Eastport, and then it's out of here by 6, 7 o'clock. Temperatures are cool again tomorrow night. It's a quieter day, uh, quieter day on Sunday, but uh, it is still quite chilly temperatures only in the teens and 20s on Sunday and then we start warming up overnight Sunday. We're actually a little bit more mild on Monday back into the 40s in a lot of spots. The next system that we have to watch will come in on Tuesday. But before we get to that, this is the snowfall map kind of, you know, for this next system where we could see an inch up to two, although I don't think there'll be too many of those. I think most of us will be coding to an inch of snow. All right, our next storm system is on Tuesday. The GFS model is much colder than the European. It gives us a mixture for, for several hours at least before trying to change us over to rain. The European model is warmer and I tend to kind of go more towards that model because I think it's just not that cold ahead of this storm. It's not going to be that cold on Monday. So to hold on to colder air, it's kind of hard to do. So maybe a little bit of hope for northern Maine, but I think this is ending up largely uh, a rain event again on Tuesday into Wednesday. Our next Actual snowmaker probably comes in next Friday. So we've had quite a break in between our snowmakers, but we're not done yet. It's funny how even though I clearly know better, it's hard not to feel like we really are turning. I mean, you are turning the corner, right. but a day like today, you're like, all right, like it'd be so weird to have another big snowstorm and it absolutely would not be, uh -huh. you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but it's just, it's hard to mentally think about that. We have at least until next Friday probably to recollect our thoughts. And it's because there are different kinds of storms because you do have slightly longer days right. and it, it affects, all of that affects right. how you perceive the storm. Yeah, that's true. And when you get into March, it is a different game altogether, but we're not even there yet. We're still no, there. that's <laughs> true. Thanks, Keith.